Hi, my name is Sonia Needs and I'm a lecturer at the University of Melbourne specialising in climate science, particularly frost prevention. To reduce the risk of your vineyard being affected by frost this season, there are a few simple steps you can take from bud burst and beyond. The first is to learn about the temperature differences across your vineyard and therefore where you're most likely to see frost damage. In an undulating vineyard, Temperatures can vary three to four degrees from one end of the row to the other. For this reason, it is essential to take note of the temperature variation across the vineyard so that you know which areas are vulnerable to frost and will need protection. Typically, the lowest areas in the vineyard are the coldest. Placing multiple thermometers at key locations across the vineyard will let you get a clear picture of the temperature variance. It is important to compare the temperatures across the block on clear as well as cloudy days and to take temperature readings at night. Compare the temperature maximum and minimum levels with your local BOM weather station to understand the relationship with what is observed in your block. The temperature measurements should be taken at canopy level. An observed temperature of 2 degrees at canopy level indicates that the temperature on the ground is approaching zero. Once you know where cold areas are, you can work to apply frost mitigation, concentrating particularly in these areas. So, what are some of the things you can do to mitigate frost? Pruning can play a role in frost mitigation. Late pruning, even when some of the green tips are visible, may reduce frost risk. This is because the apical buds suppress the basal buds from bursting, effectively moving bud burst later into the season. Here you see a panel of vines that was left unpruned. The buds at the end of the shoots have burst while those at the base have not yet burst. By pruning now, bud burst has been delayed and the frost risk is reduced. Before I go on, a quick word about how frost works. Air is subject to the laws of thermodynamics and hydraulics. Cold air is denser than warm air and will sit below warm air. Cold air moves like water. It flows downhill and accumulates in depressions and against obstacles. The arrows you see in these images represent the movement of cold air. If there is a barrier preventing the flow of cold air, the cold air will build up. In this image, the vegetation around the dam has been cleared to allow the downward flow of cold air into the dam. To help cold air drainage, firstly remove obstacles that allow cold air to accumulate and then maintain drainage ways. Trim understories of shelter belts, slash long grass and clear vegetation along fences on the downsides of slopes, flatten out humps or earth dams and help increase airflow by decreasing friction and keep air drainage areas mowed and cleared. A low cover crop and firm soils can reduce the risk of frost by increasing heat retention in the vineyard during the day, reducing the temperature loss during the night. Ensure the cover crop is closely mown to increase soil exposure. In this image, the closely mown surface has avoided frost because it absorbed more heat during the day. Thick cover crops provide an insulated layer on the soil surface, minimising the heat accumulation during the day. Loosely packed soils, or those with high organic matter levels, have poor conductivity and low heat capacity. They store little heat during the day and radiate little at night when compared to more densely packed soils. Temperatures 7.5 cm above a firm soil surface could be 1 degree higher than over loose soil. Minimum temperature is affected not only by soil texture but also water content. The frost hazard is lower for moist soil compared to dry soil because moist soil conducts heat better than dry. Drippers generally won't give enough coverage of water into the mid-row to be effective, as seen here with water just pooling under the dripper. Irrigating with overhead or undervine sprinklers that wet the entire vineyard floor, including the mid-row, is best to keep frost susceptible patches moist. If you are aware of the areas of the vineyard that are most vulnerable to frost, you can set up an irrigation system to wet just the vulnerable areas. 
Knowing the areas of your vineyard that are most susceptible to frost and managing these areas by implementing these few passive frost mitigation strategies should give your vineyard a few extra degrees of protection when the next frost occurs.